All right, welcome everybody. Let's do this. So uh, today we will cover lesson number six for statistics and how does skewness affect the mean? So first things first, let's have our notes ready. And first question I have for you is how do you find the mean for a set of data values? What does that, what does that imply you need to do to find the mean for a set of data values? Take your time. Um, you should have this in your notes, but if you don't, what we do is we add all the data values and then number divided by the number of data values. Okay, that's how you find the mean. So here, let's take a look at this example over here, or these two. What is it asking you to do? It's just saying, hey, find the mean for the following set of data values, right? So pause the video, take your time, grab your best friend. Where is your best friend? The calculator. And how would you find the mean for these set of data values, right? Try it on your own. What would I do, right? Um, let's say you pause the video and you want to check to see how it's done. What would you do? You do 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 18 plus 63. And notice I'm going to divide it by the number of data values, right? So how many data values do I have? 5. So what would that be? Let's see if I do 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 18 plus 63. If I divide it by 5, I get 21.6. And then what we could do to show that, we could say x bar. x bar implies mean. Okay, so I know that the mean is 21.6. Try it for this one. What would it be? Right? Pause the video, try it for yourself. What would you do? Right? Let's say if you pause the video and you want to see 83.1 plus 83.6 plus 83.9 plus 92.8, and we're gonna divide it by how many values? Four. Okay, grab my best friend. 83.1 plus 83.6 plus 83.9 plus 92.8. Enter, and then divide it by four. And I get X bar equals 85.85. Okie dokie. Now let's jump into the lesson. Here, I have two batteries. And I was wondering which battery should be best to buy. Or, yeah, like which battery should be best to buy or like how long do batteries last for? So let's just take a look at this example over here. Um, here, example number one. Let's read it together. It's saying consumers, a consumer's organization is planning a study of the various battery brand, uh, brands of batteries that are available. As part of its planning, it measures lifetime or how long a battery can be used for before it must be replaced for each of the six batteries of brand A and eight batteries of brand B. So notice, this represents maybe my first battery, let's say the Duracell, right? And then the second brand would be this Maxwell over here, right? So I have six uh, data values for, the t for brand A, and I have eight data values for brand B. And the dot plots showing the battery lives for each brand are shown below. So just for example, taking a look at this data value, it looks like this battery, like one battery from Duracell lasts 83 hours. And then another battery lasts 94 hours. Then another one is 96 hours. Let me actually write the numbers down because I think it's easier to see if I say like 83, 94, 96, 106, 113, and one. 14, right? And look at the batteries for brand B. And the question is, does one does one brand of battery tend to last longer or roughly the same as the other? 
What calculations could you do in order to compare the battery lives of the two brands? Hmm. What can we do to calculate, like, which battery would you pick, right? So this is for brand A. And what I could do is I'll show you the other one for brand B, right? These are the data values for brand B, right? If you see the first one, it's, uh, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I messed up. These are not the values. Uh, these are the values. Uh, 73, 76, 92, 94, 110, 117, 118, and 124. Like, this first dot is here. The second dot is there. And the question is, like, looking at these two batteries, which one would you pick? Would you pick the first one with the Duracell or the second one with the Maxwell? And knowing this is how long some of the batteries, like if you get like a random battery from this brand, like this is how long it la la uh, lives for, right? So what is something we can do to compare the two batteries, right? And what we can do is, I mean, try and think about it. Um, let's calculate the mean. All right, let's calculate the mean for battery A and calculate the mean for battery B. Okay, if these are the data values for A and B, what I want you to do is pause the video. All right, let's go over here. I'll put it on a sticky note. Find the mean for brand A, find the mean for brand B. And what do you get? All right, so this is for brand A, this is for brand B. All right, what is X bar over here and what is X bar over here? Okay, so pause the video and try and do it on your own. Hmm. Let's try brand A. Uh, 83 plus 94 plus 96 plus 106 plus 113 plus 114. And I divide it by 6. Okay, so it looks like the mean is 101. And what about for brand B? What would it be? Let's see, if I add up all the data values, I have 73 plus 76 plus 92 plus 94 plus 110 plus 117 plus 118 plus 124. And I divide it by eight, I get 100.5. Hmm. So it looks like the means are roughly the same. It looks like the means are roughly the same. Okay. But which battery would you like? Is there a better battery? Like if you had to choose, um, let's take a look at the numbers, right? Like for brand A, it looks like the numbers are more consistent. This has more consistency. And how do I know that? It's because the values are like closer together, right? Here, when you take a look at the picture, like the data values are closer together. Like if I were to pick, let's say this Duracell battery, it looks like more likely I'm going to get something that lasts somewhere in here like it's gonna be the lowest it'll be it looks like 83 and the highest is 114 but what happens if I pick this battery over here it looks like sometimes I could get very unlucky and get a battery that only lasts this amount of time or I could get very lucky and I get a battery that lasts this amount of time but which one would you pick right do you wanna take it up to chance or do you want more reliability? And that's the question, right? Like, 
This is taking a chance with the second battery because you could get something very good or something not so good, or you could get something that's more consistent, that's more reliable. So it's something to think about. So let's try and go through some of the questions here. Uh, here, do the batteries live to tend, tend to differ more from battery to band, battery for brand A? Uh, yes, there is more reliability in brand A. Right. Brand A has more reliability because the data values are closer together. This has uh, less variability. Would you prefer a battery that has better that has battery lives that do not vary much from battery to battery? Why or why not? So the question is, which battery would you pick? Um, most consumers, so consumers should not take chances, right? Don't take chances with this battery, even though you could get lucky with something like this or like this, go with battery A. More reliable. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this part over here. The table below shows the lives in hours for the brands of battery A, right? And in your paper, uh, pause the video and have this down, right? Take a second and copy this because it's not on your paper. Um, so what is this talking about here? So these were the data values for brand A, right? And what is this part asking? It's saying deviation from the mean. So let's take a look at battery A. Uh, let me do this. If I have battery A, what was the mean? The mean was uh, X bar, and what was it? It was 101, right? That's what we got. Now, deviation from the mean is just going to be um, x minus x bar. So what is this telling us that we need to do? All we need to do is x is our data value and this is the mean. So here, oh, sorry, let me fix the camera angle. Now here, what's the first data value? It's 83 minus what is the mean is 101. So we just do that in our calculator. We do 83. What is 83 minus 101? Right? What is 83 minus 101? It is negative 18. And then we just put that here. This is, we wanna see how much these data values are f f away from the mean. So try that, try finding the deviation for the mean for all of battery A, and then also try it for all of battery B, right? What was the mean for battery B? What was it? It was 100.5, right? And what I'd like you to do is try and find the deviations, right? So try it for this and try it for this. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Here, well, actually, should we do this together? Sure, why not? Um, what would this one be? If I did 94, right, let's try this one. This is 94 minus 101, which is negative seven. 101 or 96 minus 101 is negative five. 101, or 106 minus 105, one, right? This is five, this should be 12, this should be 13, right? Sometimes you don't need to use a calculator all the time. What about for this one, right? Deviation from the mean. And notice that some of them are negative and some of them are positive. We'll talk about that. 
And then deviation from the mean, deviation from the mean. Let's take a look here. We're going to take this, remember it's going to be x minus x bar, right? So it's going to be 73 minus 100.5, negative 27.5. Seventy six minus one hundred point five, negative twenty four point five, ninety two minus one hundred point five, negative eight point five, ninety four minus one hundred point five is negative six point five, and so on and so on. Because of time, um, I just wanted to jump to the next one for you to do. Let's take a look at this example over here. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and try this on your own. Okay, here are two different batteries, brand A and brand C, and it's brand A is the same as before, and here are the data values. Right, pause the video. Here are the data values for brand A and here are the data values for brand C. What I want you to do is think which is the better battery for you to pick and go through the questions, right? Like which one would you pick? Which has the greater mean or the battery life? Which one has more variability? Which brand do you expect to have more deviations from the mean? And find, like once you find X bar, for brand C, use that for here. And yeah, let's take a look for the other page. Ah, this one is good, exit ticket. Definitely try this. And we'll go over the questions in class together. I'll see you there.